Eye screws are super strong. The threads are what hold these screws in. The length of that shaft just helps to get farther into the ice. Tests have shown at a slight upward angle that the screw is the strongest. This can be difficult to place, so if you go perpendicular to the ice, it's still incredibly strong and it's easier to place. As you can see, these screws are only placed with a few threads in. They're still incredibly hard to pull out. And if I were stronger, I could pull that out. One way ice screws can fail is leverage. If I were to pull down on this, that will break that chunk off. Similar with this one, very hard to pull out, but the leverage on this, well, okay. If I jump on it, maybe if we get Pat and me, I'm gonna back it off once. <laughs> I need to be way stronger. This is my workout for the day. Keep going, this is gold. <laughs> there we go. Ice screws are really strong and nice uniform ice. Once you've found that uniform ice, similarly to your crampons and your tool placements, you want a concave space for the ice screw and not a convex. So not a bulge to place an ice screw. Where we showed with that levering, you can easily break that off. You want more of a concave spot. harder to get all of that. For my tools, my crampons, and my ice screws, I'm looking for micro concave spaces. Placing a screw on lead, I'm looking for nice uniform ice, and I also want to be in a really good stance. I usually place somewhere between my shoulder and my hip, and I turn my hand as far as I can around Start driving it once I feel it's sticky. Then I start moving that through nice and smoothly. It's helpful to have uniform ice. Um, one, because this is the strongest piece of ice. It's also easier for me to drive it all the way and not have to chip away and create that nice flush face. So as I come into the next place to place a screw, I want to make sure of my, the first things we talked about, which was one, a good stance. Another concept is the tools being out of my way. And I want that nice uniform ice again. If I place a screw close to my tool, I could knock it out, which would be less than ideal on lead. Having really sharp ice screws is really important so that they'll actually start really well and continue their drive. I also don't wanna crank this past being flush to the surface of the ice. If you overdrive the screw, it will compromise the strength of the threads. Get a high tool that's out of my way. When placing this last screw, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of pressure and force behind my drive. This is why it's helpful to place around the waist to the shoulder region. So, as you can see, getting that twist and that pressure is really important. And that felt like we maybe had a little bit of marginal ice in there. It was mostly connected and there was a bit of not as uniform and then it connected again. 
In those cases, oftentimes what I look for is another place, maybe close by to place a second screw. When placing eye screws, remember, few key elements. A good stance, uniform ice, get it flush to the face, don't overdrive it, and place between your shoulder and your hip because it takes some energy behind that. And have fun.